yo what's up guys if you're new here my name is danny james and in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create your own shake effects inside of adobe premiere let's jump into it i have my clips right here on the timeline and you're going to add the shake effect on this clip that is right in the middle this one right here and then i'll also show you how you can create your presets from that and then you can apply onto other sections of your clips onto your timeline first what you want to do go to your effects and look for a transform it should be under distort add on to that clip go to the effect controls for that then right here disable the compositions shutter angle put your own shutter angle let's put a high value which is 360 i believe that's the highest value and then go to the beginning of your clip whether you want to add your shake right here just add a keyframe for position but before you add this keyframe we want to scale into the clip just a bit so i'll scale up to 120 so it's a bit scaled in and then we can create our first keyframe for position and we can begin shifting things around by adjusting the x axis and the y axis and since we scaled in we have some room to shake that so i'll go two frames i'll hit my right arrow key twice to go two frames to the right and then i'll just shift these parameters go down two frames keep on shifting two frames and again don't try to be so predictable just try to move it around but avoid the black bars two frames and i'll come back here go down two frames i'll i'll go down and then i'll shift to my left right side two frames i'll go up with this value and then shake that a bit two frames and then go to the left two frames and then i'll shift again now i'll play this back just so you can see what it looks like yeah so that looks really dope and you can create a similar animation to either begin your clip or to either end your clip so once you've created something like this you can simply go to the effect controls for that clip whether that's the transform here you can right click and then save that preset save this as fast shake and then just hit ok and then if you want to apply the same thing on maybe the next clip right here just go to your effects go to the presets and then bring drag the fast shake onto that one go to your effect controls you can decide to take this at the end of your animation by simply dragging the keyframes but i won't do that so that you can just see how it transforms how it translates from the first clip yeah so i'll play it back yeah looks really dope and you can keep doing the same thing to apply a similar shake effect to other areas of your clips throughout your timeline uh, you can accentuate the feeling of these shakes by adding a corresponding sound effects to it i'll go to my folders and then i'll find a thunder and lightning sound effects i'll also link it down below because i got it on youtube drag it onto premiere and then i'll pick an in and out something like that i'll place it right here i'll reduce the intensity uh, add a default transition and make sure it cuts early enough and then i'll add another animation here just to so that it ends in power and then i'll duplicate it so that it also appears on the next clip right here and then make sure it fades away so fast and however much you can and then i can play this back Yeah, just something like that. You don't have to use these sound effects. You can just improvise and find others that are similar to this. And then you can match it with your song. And then you can find something dope coming out of this. Yeah, that's a really simple effect that you can apply on your clips and translate this throughout your whole timeline and you can easily have your own presets just like this i hope you did enjoy this video feel free to check out my website at dannygems.co i have preset packs lots 
and a bunch of dope stuff that you might find useful as a video creator if you did enjoy this video kindly give it a like and subscribe so that you never miss dope content like this my name is danny james see you on the next tutorial peace